Hey everyone, going to continue our PLL algorithm series with the Z algorithm. Um, I'm going to show you basically, once you kind of know how to do this algorithm, you run through it 10 or 20 times, and then you can almost do it. I'm going to show you how you continue to be able to do it quicker and quicker, because really that's where I am too. I can't do all of these completely blind, like without looking at the cube. I have to glance down and see what's going on. So let's take a look. So this algorithm is going to swap these two edges and these two edges, holding it like so. What you do is go through the algorithm, right? But what I'm doing here is I'm lifting up, putting this white piece over here, lifting right again, putting them both here, getting to this position. Now I'm going to swap this guy up to the top, put that one back down, lift it back up, and line these up. And one, two, and finish. So yet again, this is just a, this algorithm is a two cycle, so we're in a position to run it. So what we do is we lift up and put this slice here, this, uh, these two pieces there, lift up. Now we've got this kind of opposite side, the two pieces are out. Put that where it goes, put this guy back down, put this back here, and that's it. So that algorithm, I actually tend to look at the cube quite heavily while I run it. Um, eventually you get the feel for it and you get very quick, but once you know the algorithm, you have to kind of figure out how it's going to look as you do it, and eventually you stop needing to look at the cube. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, let me know if there's anything you do differently. I'm sure some of you prefer different Z algorithms than I use. Um, and if you know a drastically better one, let me know. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.